DJI is on a roll with firmware updates lately. A couple weeks ago, they added a bunch of new features to the Pocket 3 via firmware, and now it's the DJI Osmo Action 4's turn. On December 12th, a new firmware update came out for the Osmo Action 4 that allows for the DJI Mic 2 transmitter to wirelessly connect to the camera. In this video, I'll show you how to do the firmware update for both the Osmo Action 4 and the transmitter, as well as how to connect the Mic 2 to the Osmo Action 4. And of course, I'll also include audio samples as well. This is an audio test of the DJI Osmo Action 4 using the built-in internal microphones. This is what it sounds like. And now we have the DJI Mic 2 transmitter connected wirelessly to the Osmo Action 4. Just verifying that it works, but this is what it sounds like. I'm gonna bet that it sounds a lot better than those built-in internal microphones on the camera. Now at the time of this video's publishing, you can still only buy the Mic 2 transmitter if you buy the DJI Pocket 3 Creator Combo. But I strongly su suspect that DJI will soon be selling this transmitter separately. And also, even before this firmware update, the Mic 2 transmitter does connect via Bluetooth to select other cameras, like the iPhone 15. And this is what it sounds like using the DJI Mic 2 transmitter connected to the iPhone 15 Pro. The Insta360 Ace Pro. I do think that the menu in the Ace Pro needs to be updated because the way that you connect it is by connecting your AirPods. This is not an AirPod, this is the DJI Mic 2 transmitter. But sadly, not the GoPro Hero 12 Black or mirrorless cameras like my Sony a7 IV. But I also think there's a high chance of all of that changing soon too. So if you see this video in the future, after December 2023, be sure to check on those details to see if there are updates. First, here's how to update the firmware of the Mic 2 transmitter. Connect it to a computer via USB-C, go to the DJI website and download the firmware update package bin and place it under the root directory for the transmitter. The transmitter firmware updates will automatically start after disconnecting the transmitter. After the firmware update is complete, check the firmware version on a camera to make sure that it updated properly. Next, here's how to update the firmware of the Osmo Action 4. Power on the camera and connect to the DJI Mimo phone app. Make sure that you have the latest version of the phone app downloaded to your phone. When the camera connects to the app, the firmware will automatically be detected and it'll take a few minutes to install. Next, here's how to connect to the transmitter to the Osmo Action 4. To do this, power on the Osmo Action 4, swipe down and hit the gear settings icon and go to wireless mic. The process of connecting it is the same as doing it on the Pocket 3. Just tap on the icon, power on the transmitter, and hold down the link button until it connects. Now this Osmo Action 4 firmware update is definitely not as robust as the latest Pocket 3's recent update. It only adds two features. It increases the beep volume when a video recording has started, and it also lets you connect the DJI Mic 2 transmitter via Bluetooth. Now, once the transmitter is connected, you'll see a bunch of optional settings, including the option to add a low cut filter, enable 32 bit float, and automatically recording backup audio to the DJI Mic 2 transmitter, since it does have eight gigabytes of built-in internal recording. Now, as cool as all these updates are, there are a couple of restrictions that would be nice to have lifted in the future. First, if you enable audio to video sync, it only records audio directly to the Osmo Action 4 via the transmitter. It does not record the Osmo Action 4's internal audio to a separate WAV file, like it does on the Pocket 3 after the Pocket 3's latest update. So hopefully that's changed via firmware update in the future. And second, you can currently only connect a single DJI Mic 2 transmitter to the Osmo Action 4. The Pocket 3 does allow for two transmitters to be connected simultaneously. Now we might get this feature in the future for the Osmo Action 4, but it's really hard to say. In the meantime, there are still ways to get audio from multiple sources if you take advantage of the transmitter's built-in internal recording audio feature and or connecting the original DJI wireless microphone system to the Osmo Action 4. But the main reason why this method isn't so great is that you have to physically connect the receiver to the camera versus wirelessly connecting via Bluetooth with the new DJI Mic 2 transmitter. 
So this is a short and quick video about the new updates on the Osmo Action 4 and the fact that you can now use it with the DJI Mic 2 transmitter. I think this is a pretty cool update. I am super excited to see what other updates DJI has for us in store for the Osmo Action 4 as well as the Pocket 3. So stay tuned, I will give them to you as they come out. I'll see you in the next video.